the webinar also is recorded you can get the records from our team what is s curve when we are looking to our projects which we prepare in well-known software like Primavera, Microsoft Project, Asta Power Project, we are creating our schedule of activities and the critical path using the, our current systems. However, it can be very difficult to visualize how the project is performing and the, how it is important, how likely, likely to perform from a gun chart and it can contains hundreds thousands of activities so it can be very hard to analyze the our projects and s curve can allow the status of a project to be monitored graphically as it progress and displays an historical record of actuals to date so by analyzing the s curves project managers or project project engineers planning engineers can quickly identify project growth, slip page, and the potential issues that may impact the successful outcome of the project should nothing be done or what should be done in the next stage. When we are looking to project tracker, it is Windows based application. When we make the installation, we can start our project tracker as you can see now on the screen. It will allow me to import schedule from Primavera. It can directly connect your Primavera database so you can quickly analyze what is the, your project and what is the s curves as a dynamic way. It can allow you to check your projects directly from database. XCR formats, if you have Primavera XCR formats or Primavera XML format, you can directly import these schedules in one click. You can also import as the Power Project schedule, Microsoft Project and Microsoft Project XML formats. Today I'm going to start with the Primavera project. With the XCR formats. Just a sample project which you can also practice in your installation files. You can find project tracker example. And we can set up the two baselines to compare. In this case, I'm just adding the as soon as possible baseline and another baseline, the second baseline, I'm adding them as well. So I can import these baselines and the project schedule. And the, in the first page, what I am seeing that on the home tab, I just imported and what else, I have options here. I have option to display the curve based on duration, okay, based on the physical percentage and based on the cost. Now it is changed and based on the resource. Now when I am looking to physical percentage on the top part, as I see here, in a quick way, it is telling that the progress is 22% and the behind of the schedule. It is just telling me in a quick way what is going to happen. At the bottom what I have, this red line indicates that this is the my actuals on the S curve tab. You and you can see that actual line, target line, remaining part, baseline one line, baseline two line. To use the system, you don't need the training even, but if you would like the training, what is the earned value, what is the your S curve? and the, where you need to focus in the projects we can provide the training but to using the application simply you can get and you can run and analyze the, your projects when you would like to see or when you would like to switch off the view for example in this case and now you can simply switch off what you see on the screen you can get a printout so it is important what you set up here and now we are focusing on the S curves, actual line, red part, this line, it is representing the my data date. In next period, in Firmaware, if you move to your data date, it will be just switch here. So what we have in the new version of the project tracker, if you are the current user of the project tra tracker, you can find also early target line and late target line. 
So in Primavera it is calculated already your at the background please see now the early target line which is the same with my schedule. Also I can see that my late target line. So to get your late target line you don't need the baseline separately. You can simply get from the system and this data already comes with your just imported file. So you can have a quick analysis. When you would like to focus more, you can simply now display. You can change the color. You can use to your company represented colors and it can be directly get on your printout. We can switch off to this late target line in this case and we say that this is the dynamic so how it will help to us now we say that this is report based on the physical percentage on the second top of the my report this was the SQR and on the second part of the my report it is telling to me that now the actual completed it is 233 days and in the baseline it is total it is 259 and with the remaining part when I look at that variance is 26 days percentage complete what was the planned percentage slippage and the all targeted completion these are the dynamic values which can be exactly seen for example just switching on the cost it will give you the report for the cost in Primavera what was the, your actual cost what is the baseline and what is going to be variance and the target finish date for the cost as well it is showing this is the free text area so if you would like to put the, your company name for example FND project progress report and for the your for example data date you can simply type and whatever you would like to change you can simply make the changes here and you can print out from here so it is easy even you don't need the additional Word or Excel import export it is too sometimes it is getting too complicated and with the human error so here simply you can print out at the bottom it is just telling that how it is calculated for the planners it is good that also you will have the know-how how the system behaves and the, how the these items are calculated the same way regarding the resources and now we can look at the resource here and total hours it is showing the project totals now we can come from the overall but what we can do we can also look at the our WBS and the, in a quick way we can analyze for example this report was for overall the project let's focus on the our physical percentage part and I can simply focus this is the for the overall project I can simply focus for the procurement part please see now the figures procurement part it is just changed it is telling me that actual it is 120 days actually procurement is 100 percent is completed but what was the planned finish date what is the actual finish date here directly you can see if you would like to see the your curve regarding the procurement or regarding the overall project this was the overall project this is for procurement when it is completed quickly analyzing or you can look at the simply foundations works when it is completed you can see that directly here and here when you put your cursor and mouse position it will exactly tell you at the 62 percent completed and on which day you are it is directly saying that if you were looking to your project for example what is here 23 percent is completed and if you would like to focus the specific part for example roofing and the windows and you can simply see the total from there or you would like to look at the all works for the specific WBS now you get the curve based on this and simply you can remove and when you would like to focus the specific part please see here you can just simply drag and you can focus to your specific parts in your project this is very unique for your quick analyzing for the disk scope part you can also set up the codes base these are the codes you can simply show that for example for the 
your H VAC tasks and what is going to happen. These are based on the code assignment and now we can get to the same thing. It is in the combination for the resource as well. I can look at the, my specific labor if they are already assigned on the tasks and if they are progress. And whatever I see here I can get as a report and for the time slice I can just simply focus for the specific part saying that from the March starting of the March and till the end of the May. You can simply focus or you can simply say that you are also covering the summer time and looking here now overall is showing till the end of the summer time as well. So these are very easy to work in the system and I'm going to show now other things what we have and whatever you set up here actually on the progress reports you can get this. On the views part what we can do which view you set up for example let's say that you set up the view for the procurement works and getting the procurement view saying that adding one new one oh, sorry for that let me start from the beginning. At the moment I am using the beta version but in the new version okay. Now what we were going to do we were just to setting up the new views we can set up the new views like just to focusing on the specific part in the our project and adding a new view. I think there is one problem here. So once you set up the, your view next time you can just to print out what views are set up. Okay and just to passing the view part uh, for the text part also we can add the texts into our SQLs part for example adding the, this text part and we can simply show this text uh, adding to this text for example here we can simply add the into specific part this one is the just to add here but I can say that for the data date for example for here I am going to put one text and saying that this is going to in the text part I can simply now set up it I can make the changes like it is the untitled but I can say that important for example I can make the colorings here and I can make the size bigger when I go back my view now this is just simply telling that here just simply telling to me that these annotations are here. I can delete the annotations anytime if I don't want to display. For example, saying that this is not going to happen or I can remove their display from my view. So just to adding here, it is easy because what you see on your screen you get that printout as we mentioned. Okay, now for the other parts, you can compare with the baseline and now blue line, uh, sorry, yellow line it is saying that it was the my baseline first one and the, this one blue one it is the my second baseline it is now you are able to compare what I can have here more data and what we can have here when you would like to compare the your baselines we can set up the comparison baseline in this case it is comparing with the first baseline and I can say that this is now going to compare with the other baseline let me set up the other baseline and now with it is going to compare with the second baseline it was 26 days delay in based on the first baseline but based on the second baseline actually I am now Have, I have more 64 days to complete the project. Now it is more showing that variance in positive. So you can compare directly with these figures. It is the same here. You can simply change the baseline. Like here the values are changing. 
we can compare with the baseline as well. Okay, now what we can add more here on the S curves part you have like recovery line if you have the recovery and to catch the your baseline for example to catching the now first baseline I'm just going to close to my green one green one was the my target line and if I am going to compact my works on time based on the first baseline how it is how it should go and it is directly getting a simulation it should be completed here why I'm showing this because at the bottom I am going to show the dynamic mode on the settings you have the dynamic status so how it will help you you are looking to works here completed part for example the red part looking to this part it is directly telling me that I can simply focus on the data date here till the data date for example which tasks are affecting at the bottom it is giving me details with the tasks are affecting my works it is the same for my remaining works and the, which works are affecting the, my S curve and it is already listed at the bottom so it is easy to analyze the, my project in the dynamic status so we have for the Primavera users for the weightings in Primavera we create one user defined field which is called weightings and you can assign your weightage and your S curve will be based on the weightage so this is good as well because in Primavera you work around and you assign the cost or resource to get the, your weightage curves and now let's look at the our remaining part and just switching off the my early target line late target line here just switching off to these items okay and also switching off the recovery line and I have now simply in this format what else I can have here we have the period target graphs what means that now when I add the, this one it can show to me weekly or monthly the values now what is telling to me that in the target graph it was this but in the baseline now I am showing that in the baseline for the February it is planned 100 days working but you work 95 days and it is the same for the cost and you can simply switch to cost saying that now in February you had the 18,000 pounds and now you completed the less here in April you directly see that it was 12,000 in the baseline you are seeing that actual one 18,000 so it is the excuse me pardon this is the my baseline here I see that period baseline you can see in the legend baseline is the purple one and the orange one is the my actual one so I can see directly here I can see that in my project now for the remaining part in the baseline it is 54,000 but in my uh, going to happen for the remaining part it is now showing that 61,000 these are easy to analyze and simply you can switch based on the weeks you can switch based on the days if you would like based on months it's okay you can add the data at the bottom like what is the values for this you can simply change the data table you can add the more items like what was the plant percentage what is the percentage complex for example you can add the more items like 4% and 10% these are now distributed we can have also these values in the cumulative format as well these are now showing the cumulative values so it is very unique now we did for the cost base but we can do resource based as well these are all displays now this graphics so what kind of graphic you would like to get you can simply display here okay now we can have the more items like for the gun chart what we can have for the gun chart part we can simply display our activities what was in Primavera or 
in Microsoft project or in Asana Power project the same way. I can simply see the, my tasks here. Please see that if the tasks are on time, it is displayed in the yellow color. And the, I can now switch to my baseline to, for example, it can show the different values. And the, now this gun chart, it is showing that the works at the background, the completed part, it is showing that in the middle part, it is highlighted. We can adjust this completed activity part. It is showing incomplete part when I just go down uncompleted tasks here. It is displayed. It also displays to us the critical tasks. So we can see that here S curve is affected by these two tasks here directly and they are all both critical. But when I look at the, my this task here affecting, I can simply go up for example, this task it is not on critical path. So simply I can display. Also we have the new options showing the baselines. Here I am showing now baseline which was baseline 1. Also I can switch to my baselines like baseline 2. This is the baseline 2 and I can show the baseline 1 and baseline 1 here. For the coloring we can change the baseline color anytime. Let's say that baseline color in this case the green one and let's make this a little bit and now baseline it's more clear under the disk and when you switch the baseline it will be switched as well. So anytime you can compare and you can have a quick analysis on this. As I said it doesn't require any training and you can simply try once and you can get your reports quickly. We have translated formats like we had Chinese version as well so you can get the at the moment in this version it is showing the Korean, Dutch, Russian, Turkish, English and also there were Chinese which I am not using that version at the moment and you can look at the help menu also you can look at the, our delivered handouts we have white papers for you to use and if you have specific question I can try to explain this is the unique software and it is allow you to get the data on Excel as well if you would like you can still generate the, your data on the Excel and you can work in a traditional way with this data so you will not worry about which columns referring in Primavera for the percentage and so on. You can simply work in a dynamic mode in Project Tracker. For the print settings there is the questions. For the print settings we can simply set up for the which and we can add our logo and how many pages we are going to print out for the time, for the specific period and for the legend and we can now get it typed. So these are the advantages of the system and when we are looking the overall it is easy to analyze <clears throat> and you can try with the trial version but trial version has limited so you may want to use these things or you may want us to present you with your project data. Okay. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention as well. So as we said, just to summarizing the things, Project Tracker is Windows-based application which works for your Primavera, Microsoft Project and Asta Power Project files and it helps you to minimize your reporting steps and the number of steps required to get reports on Excel so anybody can use the system. Thank you again. Have a nice day.